glad you're back. Uh, this is N Plus One Channel. This is Carl, and I'm going to be playing Dark Souls 2, Scholar of the First Sin. And this is actually episode four. This is basically the A side, right? So I've got a buddy of mine. He's playing, uh, playing the B side, which... What's a B side? Well, B sides are people who are playing the game besides me. Uh, I thought it was kind of clever. I kind of got the idea from a group out in... Uh, out in uh, like the Raleigh Durham area as far as like what they sort of named uh, named their stuff uh, they seem to be presenters that uh, present things besides you know like being sort of the the, the main attractions they're kind of like they're really cool people actually they're amazing people um, met some really cool people uh, what at uh, Southeast Linux Fest actually last year uh, in Charlotte I did not mean to drink that Estes flask but it's okay it totally totally uh, regenerates and uh, we're gonna actually head a little bit somewhere different. Um, I thought I'd mix it up a little bit. We've visited a lot of familiar uh, areas a couple times, and for the sake of making this kind of not boring, um, there's actually an alternate path in which we could take. And there, there's could be some really good benefits to that too. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change up my inventory a little bit, or rather what I've got equipped, is we got a co-op item. We got this small white sign soapstone. I don't know what else do I have? Do I have uh... oh, oh, I've got an Estes Flask shard. That's right. We can turn that in. We can upgrade our Estes Flask once again. And, and I really can't believe how Is plentiful these things are, Here actually. To see light. However, they make it seem like they're they're pretty rare. Uh, what have I found? I found four, and I've only been playing, well, maybe about, uh, I don't know how long I've been playing. Uh, you know, however long, you know, add up the videos, you'll see how long I've been playing. Uh, actually, there's two areas I want to visit because I kind of skipped some stuff from up here. Um, so up in this corner, I think there's an item, unless I already grabbed it. I think I already grabbed it, though. Okay. And that's fine. Uh, there's all sorts of cool stuff we can get. But we didn't talk to the guy with the, uh, with the big giant blue sword. Man, wouldn't that be a cool sword to have? I, I'd be really excited to have a sword like that. I'd probably drop it and cut off my foot, but, you know... That's all right. This is not real life. This is a video game. I like this guy's accent too. He's kind of fun. Uh, you know, a little little traditional European, but it's it's pretty good. Have you business with me? I do. The way you end up is all blocked up, you see, by this god awful statue. Heavens above! Who thought it a good idea to pit it there? I'm in quite the pickle now. You are in a pickle. See that statue? Ah, hey. Oh, okay. Yeah, you don't think they turn a real life person into stone, do you? No, of course not. That's absurd. Nice. All right, so that's okay. So this guy actually, unfortunately, can do quite a bit of damage to us. He's got like poisonous stuff. That's all right. You know, this is why we leveled up our intelligence so we could do things like that. Not necessarily to be cheap, but to actually be smart about it. There's another one in here. Uh, yeah. Yeah, this guy. Now, he doesn't have the staff like that big crazy shaman looking guy, though. I don't think he's got an item. Uh, this is an area you don't really get to go to until later, um, but I just kind of wanted to pick up that talisman. It's a semi-useful item. A statue blocks your way. Now, oh, what is it? It's holding on to the, la the latch. I wonder what's up with that. Well, I know what's up with that, but... It sure does look like a real person, don't you know? And with that, we leave this area, which is... You know, which is kind of an interesting area. Um, fortunately, we don't get to come back here... We don't get to come back here for quite some time, and that's okay. I, uh... I would love to see us come back soon, though. That would be a thing that I'd really enjoy. All right, so where are we going, then, if we're not going back to the Forest of Fallen Giants immediately? Well, there was the path where I grabbed the Crimson Barma, and, yeah, I'd like to uh, I'd like to continue on that journey. Now, did I pick up any uh, souls that I can go ahead and consume, though? I'm waiting for all the images to load here. Not, not really. Okay. That's all right. There's not a lot of really high-level souls this early in the game. 
But we are going to kind of try and engage in some jolly cooperation, right? Let's see, what's today? It's a Wednesday night. I don't know how realistic it is, maybe, that there's uh, people online. Now we can check, though, right? We can totally check. It's a little too early for me to drop the uh, soapstone. Sounds a little dirty, but it's, yeah, it's a little too early for me to do it. And we're going to go down here, activate a few levers, kind of, you know, do some things. Got to remember how to do this. Uh, there's like a switch or something I'm supposed to pull, I think, that allows me to go through this area. I just, for the life of me, I don't remember. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, pull the little ring thing. We'll pull the ring. I've only got 53 soul arrows left. That's all right. That's actually a pretty good amount. It's not certainly a real complaint. Okay, what do we get here? So you got a soul. Soul of the Lost Undead and a Broken Thief Sword. So not anything great. Uh, soul of the Lost Undead, though, does give us, I think, 200 souls that we can just, you know, do. Just real fast. So that's cool. And we're going to go and welcome to Hyde's Tower of Flame. I realize I said that before it showed up. I, I know this game maybe a little too well. I think this area is gorgeous too. Um, quite quite frankly, I, I really think it just looks amazing. It's one of my favorite areas. So let's see here. And go. Oh. Ha. Yeah. All right. So these guys are a little tough. Um, maybe. They're not actually hard to kill. They just take a while to kill. That was a little close, wasn't it? And, you know, why am I relying on magic? Well, I'll be honest with you. If I try and pick at this guy with my silly little, uh... Oh, man! Oh, man. Did you see that? I died. I died just a little bit. I think that's my fourth death. What is this? This is video four. So, I'm I'm one-to-one -one ratio again for uh, for death to video. Really hoping to decrease that margin, actually. Uh, not a margin. It's, I want to decrease that ratio. I can't believe it's not margarine. I can't believe it's butter. Yeah, all right. So, very cool. We're back in Majula. Now, you'll notice, too, that every time I die, my health uh, actually gets a little bit lower. I can fix that. I, I can fix it. I can use what they call a human effigy. And the human effigy is a pretty good item. It's... uh. It's something that's kind of easy to abuse and like run out of though. Now it's funny I say that because always at the end of the game I have like a huge stockpile of human effigies. But I've also never tried to do commentary on this game while actually playing it. So perhaps, perhaps I may be unable to, uh, to do the same thing and that's okay. I kind of have an idea of what's coming up. Now my goal uh, for this game is to maybe start hitting the DLC about 10 hours in. I don't know how realistic that is, so we'll have to see if that is in fact realistic. And if it's not, well, it'll be okay. I certainly want to have fun with this. It's a shame too that, you know, there was a bonfire just over the way. And, and if I was smart, which I wasn't, I, I would have actually gone ahead and activated the bonfire kind of right away so I could have just spawned and said oh yeah my souls I totally need those so I can just kind of take these guys out and they're not too hard uh, what what happened I made errors in judgment that's what happened so we're gonna run by this guy hey how's it going we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna activate this flaming bonfire and we're gonna sit all right we're gonna sit down at it Okay, now what did that do? That that reset the enemy's position and his aggro, so he doesn't know I exist yet. This is a good thing. All right, so, yep. All right. Now you want to dodge away from the direction that the uh, the enemy swings in. Except I meant, ha ah, ah, ha! Yeah, see, he swings in multiple directions, right? It's terrible. I'm about to die. No, no. All right, you know what? I think I redact my original statement. I am not going to do the thing here. Well, at this point, I might as well, right? Yoink. 
Oh, now that was an act of providence. Look at that. That was beautiful. That's like, that's like a free level up. And then you know what? I'm going to take advantage of that when I get to Majula. Hey, how's it going, buddy? Oh, no. It's not hammer time. Dude. Ah, oh, soul of a nameless soldier. At least it's better than a lost undead. We can use that. Yeah, all right, at this point, what we're going to do is we're going to go and we're going to warp back to Majula. Majula? Travel to Majula the Far Fire. Or the Far Flame, or whatever it says. The Forest Fire! Only you can prevent far fires. Fires. So I've actually, uh, I'm really excited. I've got uh, the first three episodes rendering right now. And um, they should be up sometime, I think, tomorrow. Just given how long they're going to take to render, how large they are, and, uh, and all that. So, so actually, I use a really cool utility to do um, kind of my extra stuff, my pending. And I'm going to actually be using it a little more extensively soon, but I'm using uh, Blender. It's something I've actually worked with for a very long time. And now just kind of finally putting to work for me. Um, you know, I've done things like logos and, and small animations with it before. But never anything quite like this. So we're going to consume that. What is that, 800 maybe? Yep, nice. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to eat those other two. So I think we might be able to get two levels out of this. I don't know, though. It's still early in the game. And, you know, I'm, I'm like, way over-leveled at this point. Bear. Bear, bear, seek, seek, seek. Blessed. Okay, level up. All right, what do we have? Uh, yeah, okay, cool. So we might be able to squeeze like two levels out of it if we kill the pigs. Uh, I want, I want a higher int, 90 to 95. Yep, and all I need is like, what, 70, 70 of those of, of that deal. So I can do that. Now, how? I'm not, I'm not necessarily sure. Uh, or, or, I can think about this, and I can go ahead and I can buy something from Dude Guy in the shack. Which, did that lady ever show up? She never showed up. I'm a little disappointed. I invited her to the party a while back, but no, her AI said, no, I don't do that anymore. Apparently. Well, hello again. You can go ahead and you can stutter a little bit. That's fine. Uh, what is this? 85, but it requires 10, and it's D, though. That's better than the uh, than the other one. That's uh, Iron Parma. Um, what do we have here? Hard leather, hard leather. Falconer. No, the Falconer armor. Uh, how do I compare it? How do I compare it to what I'm wearing? I guess I really... I can't? Show item info, help. Yeah, I, I don't think I can. So, that's okay. I have a plan. And my plan involves being awesome. Now, hopefully I can achieve my plan. If I can't, that's okay. So, uh, we're, we're actually part of the Way of the White Covenant. We could have made the game a little difficult. There's like a, um, there's some kind of covenant. Uh, and covenants basically confer different benefits to you. Uh, I can't remember. If I burn a human effigy. Oh. I can't remember actually how... Oh, no, no, no. I don't even burn a human effigy. I can actually become human at any point in time. That's right. I gotta remember the rules for each uh, individual Dark Souls. You know, the, the first Dark Souls, of course, doesn't actually have human effigies. Um, you have what they call humanities. And we're not talking about, like, sociology and psychology and anthropology, but we're talking about, like, literal, I guess, shreds of humanity, right? You're hollow and you're you're slowly losing your mind. You're slowly losing your memory. And, oh, that's not very good, right? That's not good for the soul. <laughs> that was terrible. That was a terrible joke. Oh, man, it is It is 11 o'clock. I cannot believe uh, just uh, how excited I have been for this, doing this, 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 these, that. All right, we're going to drop our white, small white sign soap stone. Small white sign stone. Are you gonna move? I knew. How'd you know I'd be back? Alright, so we're gonna drop that. What does that do? That means that if someone kinda comes around, they can be like, oh yeah, I wanna summon you. That's a great idea. You look like you might be powerful. And I can be like, nope, not powerful at all. Pretty darn weak. More of a support character. 
And it's actually kind of funny main maining like a character that I think of as maybe a support character. Although this isn't White Knight Chronicles where, shoot, where being a healer is useless in the context of actually playing that game. Now, there should be a guy behind me, though, too. Okay, no. So he only messes with you if you do anything useful. Yeah! All right, cool. Cool. I'm excited. I don't think I can use Estus Flask, though, in someone else's world. So we're about to do the summoning. Now, the cool part is, if I get a chance to help them with the boss, I can actually go ahead and, and really get some great stuff, including my humanity back for free. This is really one of the reasons why I like the online is, is such a great experience. Um, because I, I really, I really like that. I really appreciate that actually. Um, let's see, it's an amber herb, an annual herb with, with things that move too far or too fast. Okay, cool. So this guy's in the explorer garb. Um, I think it's hideously ugly, and he looks basically like our little map dude. I think I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna, I, I won't bite, yeah, you know. Let's do the thing. Uh, I'm gonna press square, though. And not like the Enix type, but just the regular square. Oh, you know what, I can use an Estus flask. Let me just flask it up. I don't know what you're waiting around on, though. Math nerd, leet. <laughs> One three three seven. Really? Wow. Now that's something I haven't seen in a long, long time. Uh, you know, for those of you who aren't familiar or who don't care, um, well, if you don't care, actually, you might like be like, well, why do I want to listen to this? Well, one three three seven stood for elite, which stood for elite. You do realize that I am actually the small soapstone type, the one that actually expires after a period of time, right? This is why I'm actually a little bit darker. Would you? Would you do the thing? All right, you know what? You do that, okay? I'm just gonna go down here and kill stuff, and you're gonna be fine. Oh, okay, smear, smear off. Whatever, he's like a smear. Hey, now why did that just straight up swing? That's not cool. I actually pressed R1 for sure, and it just straight up swung at the guy. All right, whatever. I'm gonna get my little teeny tiny dagger out. Yeah, I'll whip out my dagger. All right. Oh no, she hasn't opened the door yet. And actually, she looks like she's the same class as I am. Yep. Okay. Yeah. So this is our first time doing this. So she's kind of, she's kind of going through this area blindly. So I might need to take the lead. I might need to take the lead. If you don't know what you're doing, I don't want to get you killed. Right? I, I fail as a, a, a wonderful buddy here if I don't help out for sure. All right, where do you want to go? All right, we're going up the branch. We're branching out here. I got a friend at the top of that building, by the way, that we should see. Although, given the fact that it doesn't seem like you played this well, I don't know. Maybe they played it before. I haven't actually been observing their uh, their play style yet. You know, maybe I should just keep my uh, dagger out until I really need magic. All right. Oh yeah. Now, do I want to go ahead and kind of sacrifice myself? Oh, oh, she knows. She knows. Okay, so this is not her first time at the rodeo. Oh. Aw, oh, are you serious? I didn't mean to do that. I'm so sorry. Well, whatever. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna make it up to her, and I'm gonna be awesome. I actually just kinda wanna get behind you here. I'm not really a big fan of the, uh, what you'd call the move set, actually, for this, this weapon here. Like, I mean, it's okay, but it's not, like, super ideal. Alright, now, do we still have the firebomb guy, or was he killed? Ah, he was killed. That is a big bummer, and I'm so sorry about that. 
Do you want to go up here? Let's see here. I'm going to wave. Well, you know, do you want to go up there? Yeah, all right, cool. So we're going to see some cool stuff here. I haven't done this yet in mine. Um, presuming, presuming that she hasn't gone up here yet. I think so, though. Yep, here we go. So what do we got? We have got basically an opportunity to kill this boss way ahead of time. It's really hard though. I've done it a couple times, uh, even this early in the game. Actually, year earlier, like immediately, I've done it, and I've done it solo. Um, you know, not that it's a contest. But now, I am definitely gonna eat up all of my soul arrows by trying to do this. All right, yeah, you gotta look out. You don't wanna get impaled by a big blue mess here. Now, I can reasonably expend a huge chunk of my soul arrows. Oh, no! No, no, no. Flask it up, buddy. Now, with three people here, honestly, this feels a little unfair to him. Pretty sure we can do it, though. And I'm really down for those souls that you get for, uh, for kind of helping out to kill this guy. Uh, he's the pursuer, and actually, originally, the idea was that he was supposed to literally pursue you uh, around the map, and unfortunately, they kind of removed that uh, from the final game. Now, there there are two other points in which the pursuer shows up after you beat him in the Forest of Fallen Giants. Aside from, like, the areas he's, you know, like, literally scripted to show up at. No. Come on, we almost got him, we almost got him, we almost got him. I'm turning like black. Oh yes, oh yes. We did it, we did it. Look at that, you see all those souls? That is victory. I'll tell you what, boys and girls, that actually is, it's not gonna revive me to human, but it did give me the opportunity to basically be super awesome this early in the game. So, I'm gonna say, we did it, we did it, we made the thing happen. Oh, well, you know, if I'd known the whole time that you just had one of those, that would have been good to know. So I'm actually going to expire soon. I don't know exactly when, but the your color changes. And your color changes very, very rapidly with the small... Yep, duty fulfilled. I did my duty. I like that. I like feeling like I helped them out. Um, you know, and, and I don't think... Ooh, smooth and silky stone. I can give them smooth, I can give them silky. Yeah, yeah, silky smooth. Uh, it's like Dinah and something. It's not Dinah and Might, I'm thinking of like uh, Super Mario RPG. But it's something, it's like Dinah and Dine and Dine, da, and I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay that I don't know. I don't have to know everything. In fact, I hope I never know everything because then everyone's going to ask me to, uh, well, no, I don't know. You know, I mean, it, well, I don't think it's possible for people to know everything or even like an actual measurable percentage of all knowable knowledge. I don't think such a thing is possible. All right. So cool. Check it out. We've got our beautiful face back. Well, oh, my. Yeah. Got our beautiful face back. Uh, you know, maybe wish I could have seen a little bit more real time when I was adjusting some things. I was, I mean, unless I just wasn't noticing some subtle changes. I wish I could just jump over there. That's all right. We're going to go to Majula Oblongata. Hey, necesito encontrar mi mente, mi cerebro. And we're going to go and uh, do the thing where we level up. Where we get a little bit stronger. You know, harder, faster, stronger. Do, 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 do. Right, do it faster makes us stronger. But we're gonna do that. Now, uh, I should target some specific equipment that I have, right? So what do I want? I want to be able to equip the uh, fire sword that I got earlier, uh, not the hide knight sword. But so what do we need? 11 and 10, 20 and 10, 15 and seven for the morning star, and 10 and nine for the fire long sword. So 10 and nine. We're gonna do it. We're gonna make that happen. Hey, how's it going? Seek. All right, level up. Sorry about the uh, bilabial plosive there. It, it does make quite a bit of noise, actually. All right, so uh, it was 
10 and 9. And we got a little bit more here, so we can... Do we want to adjust our attunement? Yeah, adjust our attunement up. Adjust our attunement up again. I want that third slot. I want to up my intelligence. Yep, we int plus one it. And uh, we're going to go to level 31. Man, I feel like a cheapo. That's okay. Now, the, the irony, actually, is that you have what they call soul memory. And soul memory is going to make it where it's a little bit more difficult for me at this stage in the game to uh, to level, or not to level, but to co-op with people. So I need to make sure I'm all good and strong and, and all that before I start taking on bosses. But, man, I am so much stronger. It is redonkulous. So... I saw that she had a uh, had a uh, healing spell. Um, now I don't think. Oh, well, let's see here. Buy item. Now is that that is a better shield with a lot better physical defense. So now I don't know though that I can reasonably equip it. But we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna grab it. Thanks very much. You're welcome. You're welcome. I'm excited. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and equip the thing. Now, that does put me at 31.6 for dodging. But as long as I stay under the 50% mark, that's not actually a huge deal. Now, we are also going to go ahead and equip the flame sword. So 37 even. Uh, I'm not going to drop my sorcerer's staff, but I do. Let's see here. Imported hood. I could get that, but I, you know, I want to leave my head. Um, hollow infantry, imported tunic. Nah, it's not that much of a drop, though. I want something that looks a little bit nicer. It kind of looks nicer. Yeah, all right, cool. And what do we have here for trousers? Hollow infantry boots. There we go. I mean, let, let's check out our character because I'm going to end this video in just a moment. And when we come back to it next time, we're going to be pretty awesomely powerful. And so I've got my Chica here and she's beautiful. And this has been a great episode of Let's Play Dark Souls 2 Scholar of the First Sin. So what I want you to do, I want you to subscribe if you haven't already. I want you to like if you haven't already. I want you to face me on the like book. Um, I mean, I've been talking on and off about a Twitter account. I haven't done the Twitter yet. You know, it's going to take time. It's probably going to take like five minutes. But it's been really hard to justify taking that time. Although for exposure, maybe I should, right? I've, I've got this whole kind of big unified marketing campaign that I'm putting it all. I'm putting my all into this. Uh, this this channel is what I'm going to do to get my life where I want it to be. And this is where it all comes together. And I've got a lot of hopes and a lot of dreams tied up in this. So my my intention is to see this grow and to see this become something real. And, and to do real good in the world with it. So with that, I want to thank you for watching. And I hope to see you for episode 5 of Let's Play Dark Souls 2 Scholar of the First Sin.